my name is Brian. I'm a DevOps consultant with Release Team. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is a JIRA project. In our web series, What Makes a JIRA Project, we talked about the building blocks of a JIRA project. What makes a JIRA project? But we didn't actually talk about what a JIRA project is. So the purpose of this video is just kind of go over what a JIRA project is and the different types of projects that you can have. So here we are, we are in our projects view page, and this is gonna show us all the projects that we have in our instance. It could be one to a hundred, however many projects you have. And here's the information it's showing us. We have name of the project, the key of the project, the type of the project, the lead, the category, and then a project URL. And as always, we have that wonderful more actions button. So what, is a JIRA project. A JIRA project is you could think of it as a way as a container. It's a container that will contain your work items. Now this could be work items for a team. This could be work items for customer support or a support line, a service line, or this could be work items for a project, maybe a specific software project. How you use the project is up to you, but we'll show you here in a little bit with templates how that can help guide you with what your projects should look like or could look like. So, as I mentioned, we have information here, but this is very important information. So a project has a name, a project has a key, and the project key is very important. Every work item that is created within that project is always going to lead with this key. So one thing you may wanna do when you're creating the project, let's have a key that makes sense. So at a glance, if you're looking at a work item number, let's say it's CLSD-1, you might be able to go, okay, I think that's something with commercial legal, or CS-3, okay, that's customer support. The project key should help you identify the project when you're looking at the work item number. Then you have your type here. Now we have service management, product discovery, and as we go further down, there's company managed software, team managed business, team managed software. And then you have the project lead. This could be you know, a product owner, a team manager, a project manager. And having them as a lead just lets people know who is the contact or who could be the contact for this project. And you can also use it for some assigning inside of the work items as well. And then we have category. And you can kind of do what you want with category you're really using it to categorize your projects so you can have specific projects appear together. That doesn't mean that they will link back and forth together. It's just a way to have them kind of bundled, like I said, a categorization. So let's look inside of a JIRA project really quick just to show you those building blocks that we talked about before. So here we are inside of our mobile dev project at the summary screen. And these are all items that we covered in our series, what makes a JIRA project. But I just wanna briefly talk about them because they are what makes a JIRA project. You have your issue types or your work item types. These are the main drivers behind your entire project. This is what's gonna drive fields that show up. This is gonna drive what workflows it goes through. So these are really the main force of that project. Once again, a project is your container almost your space for all of those items to be worked on. We have priorities, workflows, and once again, workflows are your ticket, your work items life cycle from start to end. Screens, which are your fields that are gonna show on the screens as you're working these items or presenting it to customers using JSM and the customer portal. We have fields, which also can help define required fields, and what fields maybe don't need to show up. We then have notifications, which will send out a notification internally or to customers, depending on a certain status or action done on a work item. Permissions, just as it sounds, this is going to control who has permission to this project or what they could do in this project, which also ties in with roles. You have components, which is a way to have work items kind of in a categorization along with component leads. And then you have versions, which is done for releases. So these are all those building blocks that we talked about in our What Makes a JIRA Project series. Now, if you haven't watched yet and you're curious about any of these areas, please take a look at the video for that specific one. 
and hopefully that'll give you some good information. So this is what makes a JIRA project. And we just talked about what a JIRA project is. It is your container for work that is to be done or work that is done daily or requests that come in or software development. Let's talk about how you can create a project and what your options are when you create a project. So here we are on our project screen, which you can get to by going over here to your sidebar, selecting projects. And at the bottom, you can select view all projects. And as I mentioned earlier, this is gonna show you all of your projects that you have, and you are able to do a little bit of filtering here as well. So you wanna go and you wanna create a new project. How do we do that? You can select create project over here. And what this will do will take you to this project template or create project screen. So you have certain ones here will say made for you, custom templates. These could be templates that you created for projects, software development. And you'll see here there's Kanban, Scrum. If you're on the premium plan for cloud, there's a few other options here as well. Jira product discovery has a template. Now that is a Jira product discovery license that you would need to have along with product roadmap and prioritization, and then bug tracking, which is through JIRA. You can also select here, there's service management, and you'll see the options are different. You've got your general service management, a blank project for JIRA service management, which is not gonna give you any type of request type templates or anything. This is where it is, you will create it from scratch. Then ba basic IT service management, then you have ITSM, which is a premium function customer service management, HR, finance, for those teams that traditionally weren't in JSM or in JIRA, there's now templates so that way you can do a quicker onboarding for those teams. Facilities, marketing, analytics, legal, sales, you can see there's quite a bit, and then there's also ITSM essentials. So it's gonna set up a template for you that's gonna have a little bit easier changes in incident and problem and service requests using the ITSM workflows. You can then also go to other templates such as work management. You'll see that there's a lot of items in here. These are all focusing on JIRA. And service management was focusing on JIRA service management. And you'll see there's even things such as campaign management for a marketing campaign template, budget, procurement, uh, month to end close, asset creation. Looking at product management, this is where it's gonna focus on JIRA product discovery. We can continue to scroll down here and there's a lot of items that you can do. You can also do it directly from the product. So here I can select JIRA and it's gonna show me everything that is JIRA. As long as I have JIRA as a product. So here's quite a few items, same with JSM. And same with JIRA product discovery. So what does it look like when you are going into create one of these templates. Well, let's try it here. We're gonna go ahead and select test tracking for Jira. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you a little quick overview here. You could type in a name. You can once again update the template if you want it to be a different one. And then you can select the project type. So there is team manage, which is going to be where the team has more control of the project. Settings, such as fields and workflows and processes within inside that project, but it won't affect other projects outside of that one. So as we talked about in our previous videos in the What Makes Jira Project series, if it was shared, the change would take place in all the projects it was shared with. But with the team manager, you can only affect the project that you're in. And then there's company manage, which is where administrators are the ones that can make those updates, things such as custom fields, workflows that are shared, screens that are shared. This is now where you could put in your key that you could choose the access to the project. We open, private, limited, and there's explanations under each one of those. So in here, I have our project name, I have our project type, the key ready, and the access. I can select create project. It's gonna ask you if you wanna invite team members. That's something you could do now or you could do later on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip. And now you'll see your project is created. And if we go to project settings, we're gonna see that we can go ahead and look at the information within our project to make updates if we needed to. This is not gonna have that summary screen for this particular one because we did do a team managed one. 
but in here you can update the name if you ever need to to the project you can update the key when you go to update the key it will force it to do a project re-index so that way all of the previous work items that were created under the previous project key will be updated to reflect the new project key you got your project lead which can be changed here and then your default assignee which i'm going to change to the project lead you're also able to change your icon so if you have a team logo a project logo or a software logo that you want to use you can simply hit change icon and upload that as well there is also an item when you're on the create project screen to import data to a new project and if you select that it's going to show you which applications you can import data from into this new project that you want or you can also use a csv file this could be a whole separate video on how to do that so if you're looking to import data into a new jira project this would be the screen that you can come to and look at what the options are and how to achieve that so now we're back here on a projects page let's look at what the more actions are we can go directly to those project settings which is going to show you that summary screen workflows items that we've talked about before you can move to trash or you can move to archive now how do you update the category of a project so to update project categories this is something that a jira admin is going to have to do we're going to go up here to our settings button we're going to select projects you can see here we can manage projects which looks very similar to what we were just seeing before one of the nice things with this admin view is that you can also see the last work update so if you're needing to audit projects that may no longer be in use and need to be archived this last work update will show you when the last time a work item was updated within this project you can select project categories over here and this is going to show you the project categories that currently exist and you can simply add one by putting in a name a description and selecting add so I've done here is I've added one by the name of external customer portal with a description I'm going to go ahead and select add and now I'll see that this is now a new project category and I'll show you how to update the category in just a second but let's talk about the two other items that we can see on the screen we can move to the trash which is going to show any projects that we have trashed and when they are marked for permanent deletion and then any archive projects so what I want to do is update our customer support projects category to show the new external customer category that I created so if you look over here on the sidebar you have projects from here I can go to customer support now if I click on that it's going to show me all the information how to get to incidents reports operations things like that that's not what I'm looking for right now I want to get to the project settings you can do that by selecting the more actions here you'll see there's a few options in here we can add to star project if we do that our star projects are going to show at the top we can add people to a project you can also archive or delete a project from here but I want to get to project settings so we're going to select project settings this is going to take me to that details page of the project and from here category I can change the category here by selecting external customer portal I can hit save and now if I were to go back to view all of our projects I'll now see that the category for this one is external customer portal so today we went over what a JIRA project actually is that container that you have of work items we talked about how to create a project and how to change the category of a project and what the different type of project templates they are. I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.